Hey guys, and uh, good morning. Here I am, mods day three on the Diamond Princess here. And uh, we're, the ship is still approaching Amori, Japan. We're, uh, we're supposed to get there at like 8 a.m. And uh, you can see outside, I'll show you, you can see like the bay. Sorry about this room, it's quite a mess. Recording a time lapse right now, but uh, yeah, we're puttering around the bay here. It's quite sunny out there, so I'm gonna go back in the room. Sunny, but the heat has finally came down a bit. It, but uh, finally, it was only in the high 70s this morning. That was just a little bit of precipitation. Anyway, it is the day of the. Nabuda Summer Festivals. It's the last day of the festival. I believe it's like a five-day series. This is August 7th and uh, Nabuda means like a, it's like a float. There are these large, there's a procession of these large floats. They're made, uh, uh, they take them down the streets like a parade, you know, and that happens from 1 to 3 p.m. today. And then later tonight, I believe between 7.30 and 9 p.m., there's gonna be a fireworks show to close off the festival. And uh, you can buy seating for the festival, supposedly, but uh, I did not. I'll just, I'm just gonna go check it out. And I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to still record some pretty decent content. Uh, I don't know what to expect, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be packed, but who knows, man. Anyway, uh, I finally, I think I got over the jet lag. I have been, uh, been had, had a lot of sleep deprivation, but uh, finally feeling pretty clear headed now. Uh, finally got used to the 13 hour time difference. Yeah, it's legit 13 hour time difference uh, now from Detroit. Like it's uh, 6 a.m. here in Japan on Wednesday. In Detroit, it is currently 7 p.m. on Tuesday night. Pretty crazy, right? Ooh, anyway, uh, just wanted to uh, record a little intro here for Amari. Amari. I had to look up how to say that. Amari. <laughs> All right, there's my room service. My room service has arrived. I guess this is the Americano they put in to go cup. If I got the oolong tea, this looks not as appetizing as I would imagine. Princess. Egg McMuffin of sorts. Uh, lilac, lilac tea. I'm going to add some water here. And let that steep for a few. Do enjoy myself a nice cup of tea here. And last but not least, my Americano. Most of the coffee on the boat is pretty good. That's pretty good. Stay tuned for an interesting, very vloggable Nabuda Summer Festival today. Cheers. Oh, konpai. Ship is slowly approaching Amari here. See, uh, down to a snail's pace here. Ship is barely breaking awake. All right, we're getting pretty close to the city now, as you can tell. Let me zoom in a bit here. There's another cruise ship in port. Looks like they have some sort of pyramid shaped office building there. have your distinctive red and white striped Japanese radio towers or whatnot. Looks like a rather large city here, Amari. All right. Pretty awesome. As the ship approaches Amari, you can see there's another cruise ship 
in port today. You can see the Amory Tourism Center there, the Amory Prefecture Tourism Center. That is the pyramid-shaped building. To the right of that, you can see a suspension bridge there over the bay. We will be crossing that bridge today. Uh, it's going to be closed down during the fireworks portion of the show. So on my way back, I ended up walking downtown, coming back to the ship, and then coming, taking another cab back downtown. And then finally I walked back again, but I, uh, it was far. Amory, officially Amory City, is the capital city of Amory Prefecture in the Tohoku region of Japan. As of August 1st, 2023, the city had an estimated population of 264,945 in 136,781 households and a population density of 321 people per square kilometer spread over the city's total area of 824.61 square kilometers. All right. All right, guys, I'm uh, currently on deck five headed off the ship and yeah, we're going to uh gonna disembark and check out Excuse me. No, 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 no. all right i forgot my sunglasses and my hat so uh looks pretty intense over there diamond princess here this is like uh 36 what well, we're at sea for like 36 hours from Yokohama. Made the mistake of not grabbing my sunglasses and my hat. It was over. It was a little overcast earlier, but oh, it means I might have to get back on the ship. There wasn't a line to get off, and uh, supposedly it's a few blocks or a series of blocks to get from the port area to the like downtown Amory, where like the fish market and such is. Yeah. Look at this big square looking boat. This is a pretty old boat. This ship is like 20 years old plus. It had some uh, renovations done in the last five years, but it's still pretty beat up. I, I, I don't have a problem with it. I can handle it. Uh, or it's nothing like the Enchanted Princess or the Discovery, which are, you know, virtually brand new. And I'm going on the Sun Princess at the end of next year. So that should be pretty cool. That's their latest brand new ship. All right, I am attempting this again with hat and glasses in check. It's another one of those steamy, I mean, it says it's 75% humidity. It feels like 100, so at least 80 degrees. Yeah, I think it says it feels like 85, but all right, let's get out of here. Well, here we are back to the same spot, this time with hat and glasses in check. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be quite a walk. At least I have sun protection now. Donning the Spartan gear. Go green. Michigan State University, East Lansing, Michigan. My alma mater. The uh, sun umbrellas are very common in Japan. This is uh, very warm here. Check out this boat or ship or whatever you call it. Some Age of Empires looking stuff. Fine craftsmanship indeed. I can only imagine this boat is hundreds of years old. All right, We're walking from the port area in Amari to the downtown area. little harbor here with your tugboats. I don't really know where I'm going, but all of these people are on the ship and they're all heading this direction. And I heard it was like, maybe like four or five blocks down to the downtown area. All right, I didn't put on any sunscreen and uh, I am quite envious of the sun umbrellas to be fair. Say I'm about a half mile down. That's well, more than a few blocks. Hopefully it's not like 10 or 20 blocks. I've grown accustomed to doing a lot of walking on this trip anyhow. So 
It's fine with me. It's a short walk, they said. Don't worry about it. He's a mile long suspension bridge. Don't worry. I need cardio anyway. Come on. It's got a big diamond on there. Let's not be any speed limits here. Everyone's like ripping. Everyone's doing like 60 miles an hour, like right by. Me. What is that, like 100 kilometers an hour? All right. Here is the marina. This is a fuel depot. There is the cruise ship belching out diesel fuel exhaust, like a mofo. And uh, here is a, the bridge. I, I'll look up the name later in post-production and uh, drop that on the screen there for you. As if it mattered, but uh, yeah, this is the Amory Marina here. And uh, quite a cool, futuristic looking suspension bridge. And it feels amazing, it's so hot out here. It is so hot, but cool bridge, am I right? Nice marina. Here is some of the architectural information for this bridge, broken down to the meter. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have to use Google Translate on this so I can break down what what this says. And probably get the name of the bridge here. Anyone fluent in Japanese wants to chime in. This is a cool picture of the bridge and the cruise ship across the bay. All right, this is the Amari Bay Bridge. cruise ship over here. Another ship in port. I'm not sure what kind of boat this is. But uh, you can see I've walked pretty far from the Diamond Princess already. I'd say maybe I'm like a mile, a mile and a half. Right, the audio from the bridge was useless so uh, as you can see we're, we're overlooking the Nabuta parade float area here from the coming to the end of the Amory Bay Bridge you can see there's like a cat float there there's like a tsunami kind of float and uh, yeah we're getting to the end of the bridge and you can see the Amory Prefecture Tourism Center here which is actually a triangle and not a pyramid. These smaller floats you can see are for the children to uh, pull. Yeah, the uh, child size ones are about like one tenth the size of the monstrous adult ones that need like 50 people. I, I, I originally came down here following a large group of tourists, but they were walking so slow and I passed them all. Now I'm in an area where there's like zero tourists at all. 
So maybe there was an elevator in the bridge and they took the elevator down to the base. And I just walked down here for no reason. But, uh, that explains why uh, no one followed me down here. Don't be like me. Uh, pay attention. All right. I walked down to the area. I'm like actually in the port area next to the other cruise ship now. I did walk quite a quite a distance, but uh, looks like this must be the area for the parade, as people have marked out spots to chill. I have no idea. Yeah, this must be people marking out their territory for the parade. See the ship over here. This ship's gonna have a good uh, viewpoint. My ship. Uh, I guess uh, it's parked in the cheap, cheap parking. Uh, what can you do? All right, I am at the uh, Amori, uh, Amori Tourist Center here. See they have a bunch of little food, food stands set up. Uh, I might have to check it out, but I really want to find that the sushi place at the fish market So I'm gonna just keep looking around, but these places look they look good. Let me tell you So they have this like gourmet fresh squeezed apple juice you can get that comes in different flavors I went for sour apple like the bitter one. They had sweet. They had like a more like Less sweet variety, but uh, it's awesome. It's fresh squeezed like Michigan where I'm from is uh, known for cider mills, but uh, I Guess it's this is more like not cider just like fresh fresh squeezed apple juice. I don't know. What's the difference, but It's pretty good. It's like It's like about $20 a quart or a liter. So I mean it breaks down to like $40 a gallon or what or whatnot. Yeah, pretty expensive one of the coolest things about Japan is uh, they're so liberal with alcohol. Like you can buy, a, you can buy beer, liquor, rice wine anywhere, and like virtually everyone drinks. They're so chill here. Amazing. All right, I've left the tourist center. I'm trying to find my way over to the fish market. Here's the tourist center again. Uh, this is the little downtown area of Amari. There's a gas station. Everyone has like matching robes. I, I, I must believe they are uh, the people or children that are running the, or they're, I believe the floats, they carry them around. So. They got like poles. So, I mean, well, at least some of them are like man powered. I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll let you know when I get a closer view. But, uh, yeah, they have teams of people that operate them and they all are dressed in kind of like a, like a uniform for a said team. I don't know if it's a contest or what, but it's pretty cool. This large red building must be the fish market. And, uh,. I'm pretty excited. This monstrous building behind me is the fish market. Can't wait to check this out. I heard the sushi and the fish ramen was awesome. This looks like the proper downtown area of Amari. A little off the beaten path path from the traditional tourist center. Here is the entrance to the fish market, or as they call it, Aga Fresh Market. We got the uh, king crab over there. Uh, got some uh, sashimi, looking real good. Holy hell. It looks like I gotta get this sashimi. This place is known for its uh, legendary sushi. I'm, uh, inside the fish market here. 
You got lots of different dried fish, dried kelp. Uh, very interesting. All sorts of fish and stuff here. Is this salmon roe? Holy shit. It's a lot of roe. This one's flying fish row. Some little plates here. Seafood ramen, I believe. Kind of want to get sushi first. The amount of, uh, I believe this is salmon roe. That little one is flying fish roe. The 2024 Nabuta Festival. Amari, Japan. August 2nd to the 7th. Today's the 7th. Look, they have the posters from the previous years, or pretty cool. Yeah, this looks like sashimi, 2,500 yen is like 17 bucks. The row is so cheap. It's like $30 an ounce in the US. The whole package is uh, about $7 US, maybe less. Hmm. All right, I went to the fish market and picked out some items. We got the salmon row here. Got some uh, salmon meat. Uh, what is this? Is that scallop? Looks like scallop maybe. And I uh, got some tuna. And I also opted for some rice. So looking pretty good. This is at the fish market. You can pretty much just go pick out whatever you want and then they... Yeah, you buy your food from the fish market and then they have a little seating area, kind of like a food court, but it was all full. So I just sat at some tables by the vending machines. sushi restaurant uh, I ended up just going a la carte but uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't even see this place where I would have considered it but I don't know maybe later oh. uh, mussels here got the cockles are those little ones I believe scallops fish market. I ended up grabbing a couple items a la carte. The salmon row and uh, a little package of salmon, tuna, and some uh, scallops. It's pretty good. After I had got that, I found that one place uh, that makes the sushi bowls or the sashimi bowls, but, uh, but it was all right. I, I was satisfied with my do-it-yourself option. I felt like that was the less touristy thing to do. Like I see all, I saw the locals doing what I was doing. Like you, pretty much you go into the fish market, you pick out whatever cuts of fish you want. And uh, you can even have them uh, cut them, uh, cut it up for you. Cause it's like one big filet. Uh, the one I got was more pre-prepared, but uh, yeah, still pretty cool. Very cool. Some blueberries, blueberry bush. Looks like a Goya Goiza or pot sticker vending machine. That's unique, but uh, it does look like it's broken. Got the food trucks over here. Shrimp crackers. I've never heard of this before. I would try it. Though. It is a shrimp cracker. Well guys, thanks for watching part one of the Amari vlog on the uh, Diamond Princess for the Nabuda Summer Festival. Yeah, this vlog was so long, I had to break it up into multiple parts. Uh, yeah, this is already 25 minutes long, we're not even halfway through yet. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for part two where 
you get to see the actual uh, Amri Nabuta parade here with all these uh, revelers here. And uh, after the daytime part of the parade, it goes on to the naval parade where they have put those same floats on boats and uh, then they have a big fireworks show. So check it out. Thanks for watching.